Hello, lovers of life. I've been doing a lot of research on the internet these days after the uh, Ukraine war started. Uh, whenever a major catastrophe happens, like when uh, COVID hit, I did a ton of research for a couple of weeks to figure out where it came from and what people are saying and what happened. And did the same thing for Ukraine and uh, in the process of researching for Ukraine, of course, lots of other things come up in the research, you know, as far as, uh, you know, hate groups and things like that. Uh, a lot of uh, people are making videos to talk about how to fix things and make things better. And I, I don't hear a lot of strategy or uh, talk of a, of, a, of a better future. What I do hear a lot of is people fearful and what the problems are, uh, but I don't hear a lot of solutions. And I don't hear a lot of uh, positive things to be said about the state of the world today. And what I mean is people getting up and saying, hey, you know, here's a clear solution or here's a clear way out or, you know, here's, here's really what's wrong. So I just want to talk a little bit about... Um, the root cause of everything, everybody's animosity towards one another and the strife in the world. And I know exactly where uh, the root of this comes from. If you notice, one thing that's never talked about is um, religion in a serious way. Uh, here in the United States, we don't talk about our government in a serious way. We say that it's always ripping off the people and doesn't work for anybody and it doesn't matter who you vote for. And, and then you don't even hear anything about religious anything at all like there's no talk of spirituality there's no talk of religion there's no talk of a, of a new jesus christ like there's there is no talk about that at all like we've just gotten away from those conversations and i believe ultimately it's the getting away from those conversations that is really getting uh, this is really the root of the problem and so the exact root that feeds everything else that is never talked about at all in society, and it's laughed and scoffed at, but this is the reason why there's a problem. Uh, once this is not laughed at and scoffed at, society will improve. What is this root that I'm talking about? It is the simple failure on the behalf of mankind to remember mankind's divinity. I've said this before in many videos, but I really feel like I need to say it again now. All life is divine. Anything with a spirit is divine. Spirit is divine. Now what I'll say is this. There are a lot of people who are confused about this because we have existed with things like Catholic Church which teaches you are not divine. You're actually a sack of poop. And you have to go beg forgiveness to God every week when you go to church on Sunday. And that totally has stripped people of any idea of their own divinity. I believe firmly that people like Jesus were born to remind others of their divinity and to exemplify through his own divinity. This is exactly the root we need to get back to. When I'm aware of my own divinity and the fact that I can overcome anything because I'm a, a product of the universe and the universal energies that exist, I'm able to manifest anything I wish in this life. So I live a wonderful life in the same world that everyone else does. But in fact, I've had only one single parent mother who I never ever got to know because she was always out working. I never had a father or any family whatsoever. I've not had many jobs and I've not been given work a lot in my life. But I have the most wonderful life you could imagine. And it's because I knew at an early age when I saw the mistreatment by my father, who abandoned my mother and I when I was just a baby, 
I knew what divinity was at that early age. I knew that it wasn't abandoning a mother and her child that just wanted to have a family with me. And that started me on a path of understanding my own divinity. And by understanding my own, I then understood the divinity of others. Once an individual can accept their own divinity, it starts to show in others. Positive energy attracts to positive energy. So when I practice my divinity, every moment of every day, I will come into contact with others who are expressing their divinity. And that positive energy will come together. And that positive energy that comes together is the strongest thing known to life. So, I imagine the times that Jesus were born into were probably pretty rough. Maybe similar to now, even worse. But I believe that the universe provides angels on this earth, like Jesus was, to remind everyone of their divinity. We are all divine spirits. And once we can accept that within ourselves, we then are able to connect with others in that way, and we have common ground on something that's very, very important. And this fosters defending one another, working with one another, and realizing that we are stronger when we think this way and we work together. So I'd like to paint you a picture now of how the world exists in my head by remembering that I'm a divine spirit and so is all life around me. In the United States, remembering our divinity would lead to higher taxes on people that have the ability to assist others. Now, it would be wonderful if the people with money would voluntarily give it to the people who really need it, but unfortunately they don't. They choose to give it to charities so they can stay out of high tax brackets, and the charities they give it to are friends of theirs that they maybe went to college with or organizations they were members of. They really don't need that money. So divinity. The people with money will remember their divinity and connect the fact that other life that doesn't have money is divine as well. There's a kinship. There's a bridge. And that is the way that people find to appreciate and love one another. It's just by understanding that we are all divine. We've been led astray to not believe that and to think of ourselves as individuals who are not divine because it's easier to make money from us that way. It's easier for us to think that we are bad that way. And it's easier for them to pay us less money if we think that we are not worthy or we're bad. But once that's rejected and one lives in the realm of perfect, pure divinity, there is no evil that can come into that sphere. There's nothing that can penetrate that bubble. And that is where I live. I imagine this is what the United States would be if it would remember its divinity. This is how it looks in my head. People begin to understand that they are divine and they get away from the religions that tell them otherwise for controlling reasons. Once we connect with one each other through divinity, through understanding of our own divinity, we then are compelled to do divine things. Divine things would look like taking money from those who have it and giving it to those who don't so that they can then begin to support themselves and return back to society and kind of give back what they needed to get themselves off the ground. So when this happens, we have more equality in the society, less crime, people not feeling like they're being so taken of their things from them. Everyone has what they need to be happy and survive. That would go a long way. Just this simple concept of accepting that we're divine and then allowing that concept to let us feel like our cups are overflowing and we just want to assist those who have nothing in their cups. 
This whole idea also leads to the idea of democracy in the workplace. It's something I've always wondered about, even when I was young. As soon as I got on my path of divinity, I wondered how come it is I can go to a business and be treated so horribly? I'm just there trying to help. I'm willing to do all that I can. But yet, there's no kindness in the workplace. I certainly don't have a say or a voice. I feel most of the time like I'm just whipped. Like they're the master and I'm the slave. It should not be this way, especially if everyone remembered their divinity. And when that happens, we would have democracy in the workplace because we love democracy so much. We would have higher voter turnout because people would then believe that democracy will work for them. And the only way they can do that is by having someone they can vote for in confidence. I believe that Republicans and Democrats have abandoned those positions. We now have to look to third parties like the Green Party, who vows to be grassroots, take no money from corporations, and to repair the environment that's been destroyed by capitalism. And I think each and every one of us supports that, especially if it would lead to jobs that would pay well, restore the middle class, get us off of fossil fuels, and make it so that we have a planet that will last far into the future. This is what divinity looks like, my fellow human beings. When this is our cause, when this is why we live, to express our divinity, this world is going to change immensely. We'll begin to work together, reduce nuclear weapons, clean the environment, and have an actual global economy that benefits everyone on the globe. It seems to me that this globalization has really been at the detriment of working people. I see in a divine world a unionized workforce, 100% of the laborers across the planet in an international union that could never be broken or destroyed. This union would hold immense power and keep in check the corporations who have no checks and balances on themselves because the government is purchased by them. But, in my head, in my world, that cannot happen. There would be no things like lobbyists. There would be no things like filibusters or the Electoral College. There would be nothing that could detriment democracy or hinder it. It would be in the workplace and outside of the workplace. Everyone would love their government and love that they have the ability to take part in voting and having a voice for what happens for everyone. That is what people are starving to feel. Part of the world instead of just being a cog tossed onto a pile and thrown in the garbage. That doesn't reflect divinity and it doesn't come from capitalism. So we have to now change the world to make it the way we want. And I believe that if we understand our divinity instead of believing what we've been taught for millennia, understand the truth. This will allow us to connect. Once we connect, that energy and that power rebuilds and transforms the society. We can then have democracy in the workplace, owners that feel more like, or workers that feel more like owners, and giving people a say in things that directly affect their lives. Certainly no employee or no worker would vote to have the company sent to another country so they lose their good paying job. No one would. So there has to be more democracy in the workplace. I see unions as a way for people to force democracy into the workplace, to force those that have to understand that they would never have without the labor of these hands. So respect is what's fostered when we all understand our divinity. No longer do we look at each other as in a competition because we all understand that we're divine beings and all we have to do is connect then and do righteous works. That's all it takes. That's all we need to do. We need to get back to that understanding, which has never been prevalent in the United States. We have religions which chase people away because they portray Jesus as someone here with shades on and an AK <clears throat> automatic weapon and, and money in his pockets and, and shooting poor people. And they like to think, hey, that's what Jesus would do if he was here. So delusional. And it's because 
those people that believe in Jesus don't believe in divinity. So once people believe in their divinity, get back to who they are, understanding themselves at the deepest level, we can all begin to connect and rebuild in the most positive of ways, cleaning our environment, providing natural uh, renewable energy and fuels. So we have huge possibilities and abilities right now to come together to clean our environment and to make this a safe and future home for our children and their children. We all know what's happening now and where the world is at, but I don't hear enough people offering substantial solutions. And so I feel compelled to assist mankind to stay alive, to know what it is to know this divinity, to know what Jesus felt, to know the excellence and the power that God provides. And when I say God, I'm not an abstract concept that no one knows what I'm talking about. It's simply the energy of the universe. There are much bigger planets than ours flying around this sun that we fly around. And those big planets make a lot of energy. Heck, even our moon provides a lot of energy. So when we talk about the full moon and the crazies during the full moon, that's energy from the moon. And this energy comes from all the planets in the galaxy. And there are other galaxies with other planets. This is an immense amount of energy. And all that one needs to do to plug into it, to understand everything and have complete clarity, is to just have one concept in mind. And that is, as life, I am divine. I'm a part of this universe, and I carry all of the power from the energy of all the planets in the universe. This is where it begins. This is where we forget about differences and remember the most important thing that binds us. And we are so strong when we remember our divinity. Thanks for listening.